welcome to microwave engineering playlist here in this session i am going to explain example on directional coupler and to have this we have this question where in this question it have been given that directional coupler has scattering matrix as given below and we are dealt with to calculate directivity coupling and isolation of this directional coupler now one thing that one can see clearly here we have directional coupler with four cross four matrix so as this is four cross four matrix we can say this is four port directional coupler and as if i say we have a four port directional coupler so first let me plot that directional coupler so it will be more clear how this directional coupler data is given to us so see if i draw a directional coupler as i am drawing it over here then you can understand it properly this is what four port directional coupler where see if i say this is port 1 this is port 2 this is port 3 and this is port 4 and in this directional coupler if i say this is input port then over here this will be my forward output over here so this will be forward output and see this is what forward output from 1 to 2 and output at port 4 that has to be coupled output and this will be my back output so if i give input over here at port 1 forward output will be at port 2 coupled output will be at port 4 and back output that will be at port 3 and we can compare this scattering matrix by having this port 4 four ports 1 2 3 4 as s11 S one two, S one three, S one four, S two one, S two two, S two three, S two four, S three one, S three two, S three three, S three four, S four one, S four two, S four three, and S four four. See that is how we can compare this matrix. Now. we will solve this example first what is directivity now see directivity that we can calculate as if we give input at port 3 what will be my output at port 4 that will justify directivity so directivity that one can justify based on as if input it input is given at port 3 what has to be output at port 4 so let me write it first so this directivity that is 10 log of output power that is p4 divided by input power that is p3 see this is what my directivity now one thing that we need to understand here we have considered my input port is p1 port so we cannot place scattering matrix data as we have it based on p3 p4 we need to place that with respect to p1 so i need to do adjustment over here in this calculation so in that now i'll calculate that with respect to p1 so to have it now i'll place data you can see 10 log of i'll multiply p1 and divide p1 why the reason is i have considered my input port is p1 so i cannot place directly scattering matrix data as 3 and 4 it has to be depending on p1 port so i am just rewriting this like this now see when i translate this in terms of scattering matrix 
at that time see this is given in terms of power and scattering matrix data that is given in terms of voltage so when you translate power to voltage we need to have see power power is proportional to voltage square right and scattering data that is given as per if i say s i j then that is given as per v i divided by v j and as this is proportional to v square when i calculate power to voltage i need to do square of this and that power 2 that will come front so now you will be finding this will be getting 20 log of now p4 by p1 that is s41 and divide by p3 by p1 that is s31 see that is how data will be there and as if i place these values s41 and s31 10 20 log of s41 so s41 you can see this 0 0.05 so that is 0 0.05 divided by s31 s31 that is 0 0.1 so this is 0 0.1 now if you see this that is 20 log of 1 by 2 in 0 0.5 so if we calculate this you will be getting 20 log of 0 0.5 so that is minus 6.02 see this calculation will always be negative but you just consider that as a positive so 0 0.6.02 db now let us calculate second parameter that is coupling coefficient c so let me write it first coupling c now what is coupling c coupling is what as if we give input at 1 output coupled at port 4 that is coupling so it will be tan log of p4 divided by p1 that is what coupling so coupling is 10 log of p4 divided by p1 that is coupling now when you calculate this in terms of scattering data p4 by p1 that is what i first i need to write 20 instead of 10 as i have told you scattering data that is actually based on voltage ratio and if you translate that in some power ratio you will have to multiply it by 2 over here with this power right so 20 log of s41 and s41 that we have already written that is 0 0.05 so 20 log of 0 0.05 so if we calculate this So that is minus 26.02 i can say right now it is you just write it positive 26.02 db as i have told you that data will be actually negative as we are taking ratio with respect to p1 always that's why but value will be positive only right now third data that we are dealing to calculate that is isolation now see in this directional coupler p1 and p3 as well as p2 and p4 are isolated to each other so if i say p1 and p3 is isolated to each other and i am giving input to p1 so output at p3 and input at p1 that will be isolation i so isolation i will be 10 log of p3 by p1 so isolation i that will be 10 log of p3 by p1 and now if i write that in terms of scattering matrix data then it will be now 20 log of s31 
and S31 you can see this is S31 so S31 is 0 0.1 so if I place it over here 20 log of 0 0.1 then this will be 20 log of 0 0.1 so that is minus 20 dB say it is 20 dB so my isolation that is 20 dB my coupling for this question that is 26 dB and directivity that is 6 dB. So this is how we can solve problem based on directional coupler. So you just see minor detail which I have explained here. The reason is that is very important and you should solve examples. I hope that you have understood this session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future I will make videos which will solve all those queries which is required to be solved on my channel. Thank you so much.